Next to enter the den is Stephanie Kelsey, who, when it comes to her company, is very much a one-woman band. I created the products myself. I've written the website myself. I manufacture the products myself. So, yeah, I've put a lot of effort and energy into this business. Wow. Missed that. Swimming trunks and a towel. That's all you need, Mr Jones, when you go to the beach. <laughs> but you would wear your, what are they called? Budgie smugglers. Yeah, yeah that's what <laughs> I wear. And just like Peter Jones's swimwear of choice, Stephanie's creation often leaves people in a state of shock. When people use it for the first time, they look at me as if they've just seen a magic trick. <laughs> they can't believe just how good it is. If this is what I think it is, it's going to be genius. So will the dragons view her seaside invention as a sure thing? Hello, I'm Stephanie, and I'm here today to ask you for £60,000 in return for a 10% share in beach powder. You know that horrible feeling when you're leaving the beach and you've got to put your shoes back on, but you've still got bits of sand on your skin? You just grab your beach powder, sprinkle it on, swish it off, and the sand comes off instantly. Um, during the first 12 months, I managed to secure around 70 stockists. And I also managed to get the products in front of the buyers of a very large international airline. And um, <laughs> if I had a pound for everyone who said to me, these products would do so well in Australia, or, oh, have you thought about Cape Town or Dubai? They'd sell so well in Dubai. I'd be rich by now. I wouldn't need you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no. So um, I hope that you find that as exciting as I do. Um, thank you for listening. A powder to remove sand from the skin is the offering Stephanie Kelsey is hoping to clean up with in the den. I want to sit on the beach. <laughs> She's seeking £60,000 for a 10% share in her company. And whilst the other dragons put the powder to the test, Peter Jones wants to brush up on the business. Really quite ingenious. Thank you. Where did this idea come to you? How did it come um, about? Because I live near some beautiful beaches. I, I live on the Isle of Man and I've got two children and um, I find the, it almost spoils going to the beach, the, the bit at the end where you have to get all the sand off. And you've got a registered trademark, but you... Yeah. It is a trademark, yeah, trademark registered for beach powder, is it? Beach powder, that's right. In what territories? In uh, the UK, Ireland and the USA. What have you turned over in the last 12 months? Um, that was 18k. So, just give me an idea of how much does this cost and what do you sell it for? Um, it retails at £9.99 um, and they're £4.16 wholesale. And what do they cost you? Um, £1.30 for beach powder and £1.60 for beach powder shimmer. That's a good margin that you have there. Yeah. Stephanie's impressive markup on her products gets her on the right side of Tej Lalvani. But the revelation of her meagre sales so far has got Deborah Meaden thinking about an altogether different number. So, if you weren't so lovely, I'd have <laughs> given you a little bit of a hard time over a £600,000 valuation. So, let's explore that. OK. What do your forecasts look like? Um, so, year one, assuming one large retail chain, 130 independents across the world, um, that would be turnover of 360,000. Yeah. Gross profit of 240, net profit 190. Yeah. The next year, um, another large retailer, another medium retailer, and 10% more um, independents. That gets you a turnover 630. Yeah. Gross profit 420. Yeah. Net profit 370. Yeah. And then year three, 1.2 million turnover. 800,000 gross profit, 720 net. I don't see how your expenses in year three would only be £80,000. That would cover all your logistics, your overheads, your salaries and your marketing. Um, I suppose um, I was still assuming that I would be um, a team of one by that stage. I very much doubt that. There's no way, if you're going to have marketing, digital, people dealing with buyers, promotions in store, 
you're going to be international. So it just makes me think you haven't thought it out properly, and therefore, I would expect your net profit would be around the 200,000 or 300,000 pounds. Oh, really? It's bigger. Okay. Mm. okay. Yeah. So, your valuation comes right down. Yeah. Choppy waters for Stephanie as Tejal Alvani deems her projections unattainable. And now Tuka Suleiman wants to put Stephanie's one-woman band approach under the microscope. You've got five dragons here. What would you expect from a dragon to actually help you with your business? It's just the opening doors. I would love... It's the door opening. No, so so okay. just the opening doors bit is stopping yeah. your business from yeah. going. Yeah. So you can't put the word just okay. in okay. front of opening doors no, when it's true. the bit of it's magic the, yeah. that turns yeah. this from an £18,000 a year business to a business that you're saying is worth £600,000. So we'll drop the just. OK. We'll say the most important thing yeah. for your business yeah. is what one of these dragons yeah. can offer. Yes. How do you think that feels as an investor when you're saying, but I'm going to have to pay £60,000 for 10% for the benefit of actually making the business work? Yeah. Um, I still think that I've got the, the skill and the perseverance and the product to be able to, to go and open those doors on my own. Um, with you guys, I could do it faster, easier. So you stand by a valuation of £600,000? I do. I do. I, I actually think that it's um, conservative. I mean, another way of looking so, at sorry, it... Sorry, sorry. You think £600,000 valuation on a business that turns over £18,000 is conservative? With a straight face. I'm not going to prolong it. There's just illogical gaps mm. in the way that you think and you want to run your business. And, and it worries me that, you know, you, you won't be taking stuff on board, so I won't be investing Stephanie. I'm out. OK. Tensions rise as Deborah Meaden questions Stephanie's business acumen and backs out of the deal. But does Tej Lalvani see any potential in the entrepreneur? I can see that you're very persuasive and <laughs> persistent, which is a good quality to have for an entrepreneur. And you have a product that's quite unique in the space. Yeah. But what you've not demonstrated is that there's a need. And I think for investment now, because you've pitched it at £600,000, you're going to have to give up way too much equity too early on in the business. And for that reason, I'm going to say I'm out for good luck. The thing I've always said, and I've always lived by the mantra, that for a dream to become reality, you have to make it real enough to believe in. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's where you've lost sight starting your business. Okay. Because you have no idea of how you're going to get there. There's no stepping stone. All there is is I've got a dream, I've got some beach powder, and I think I can go and take over the world. Yeah. That's not a good approach to a business. This is definitely not an investment, and I'm out. Two more dragons wash their hands of a deal. Sarah Davies has been sitting quietly. Has the millionaire mum seen something some of the others have missed? Before you even came in, I, my exact words were, if this is what I think it is and it works, it'll be brilliant. I was at the beach this weekend and it's a genuine problem and I love it when there's a product that solves a problem. Thank and I really put it through its paces. I yep. sun creamed, I watered up everything and I yep. am sand free. Yep. So I definitely conclude that it absolutely works. Yep. Um, so the difficulty is, I cannot justifiably value your business any more than £100,000 based on what you've presented us with today. Wow. OK. Because your future potential, you had openly admitted, relied on having one of us on board. Well, yeah, yeah, but I still think I can do it. If you really thought that, though, you probably wouldn't be here. So I will offer you all of the money but I would want 49% of your business. And that is me being overly generous and valuing your business above where I genuinely believe it would be. Yeah. Okay. 
the entrepreneur finally has an offer, but for a whopping 49% of her business. It's a world away from the 10% she was originally hoping to give away. Is Tuka Suleiman also willing to make a play for the powder? I like the name, and I like the way that you've stood there and you've taken a lot of <laughs> whatever, you, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Okay. <laughs> um, look, the offer you've got is very good. Okay. Now, it could get better if Sarah was interested, if it was two dragons, because you know, she's great TV shopping and we've got lots of pull in the high street. Yeah. So I'll offer you half the money for 24.5% if Sarah wants to share with me. Would you be happy to, to split it, Sarah? On this occasion, actually, I would, because I have had that real need and experience for this product with young kids and babies, and Tuka is very strong in the baby industry. Yeah, So yeah. I'm willing to either make the investment on my own or to share it equally on exactly the same basis. Stephanie now has two offers on the table, a partnership with Sarah Davies or a three-way alliance with both the TV shopping star and Tuka Suleiman. However, each alternative requires the entrepreneur to give up a 49% stake in her company. Will she be willing to relinquish nearly half of her business in return for some dragon expertise? Having taken on board what you guys have all said, um, it was, it's more than, than I was anticipating, but I do totally hear what you're saying. I'd love to have both of you, please, yeah. Well okay. done. <laughs> done. Well done. Thank so you great. understand yeah. that means giving up nearly half your business? I d yeah, I do. I do, yeah. Yeah. I do. But I, could I, can I be the boss of the team? <laughs> <laughs> Look forward to working together. Thank you. Thanks very much. Bye. Success for Stephanie, who leaves the den with not one, but two beach buddies who have the competence and contacts to grow her creation to a global scale. I think I'm in shock. <laughs> when I started to get the hammering from the dragons about the figures, it was really scary and I felt stupid, but I got there in the end. She came through all the onslaught by five dragons. She came through. It's going to be a huge game changer. I mean, I've got dragons, it's amazing. <laughs> Watch out, here comes beach powder.